Hi guys, this is Courtney. So um, for the past couple of weeks, I have been picking up a couple of summer beauty and hair items. So I thought I would just do a quick collective haul and share with you all what I purchased. So I guess we'll get started with the first thing, which is this Clinique Stay Matte Foundation. I actually have had this for a little while. And I just thought I would go ahead and throw it in this haul since this is like a summer beauty haul. Um, I may even go ahead and do like a separate review on this foundation. Um, because when I was researching it and kind of looking on YouTube, I didn't see a whole lot of uh, women of color who really had reviewed this foundation. So I may go ahead and do it. But yeah, it's my first purchase. Um, this. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but um, this is my Bath and Body Works bag. So, ooh, for those of you all who do not know, Bath and Body Works is having their semi-annual sale. So, to me, this is a great time to stock up on whatever items that you need from Bath and Body Works, and then you don't have to worry about, um, you know, going and paying regular price for these items. So, I'll show you everything that I got for from Bath and Body Works. So, I got five shower gels and all of the stuff that I got pretty much was like 75% off so I think I paid each of these shower gels like $2.75 but I got one in a color called Venice Dolce Berry um, Rio Rumberry Capri Seaside Citrus Wild Peach Poppies and Secret Wonderland so those are all the shower gels I got. Um, also, even though I'm not going to show that because I don't have them near me, I did pick up a couple more wallflowers because I love the scents. And it's a great way to keep your home smelling great. Uh, so let's see. The next thing I got from Bath & Body Works, I got, I picked up two. Actually, I'd already picked up one of these. And um, they were on, when I went back to Bath and Body Works, because the first day I went, I didn't really see anything that I liked and the prices weren't quite what I wanted to pay. So when I went back, I saw that these were 75% off also. So they're normally 15 bucks. I paid each one of these $4. And I've been using this as like my summertime moisturizer. It's a really good body butter and the Secret Wonderland scent isn't too heavy. So if you're scent sensitive or don't like really, really strong scents, this would be a good body butter for you. So, um, and let's see. The last two things that I picked up were some candles. So the first scent that I got is called Homemade Cookies. And it smells, mmm, it smells so good. It smells just like cookies. So I don't know how I'm going to handle um, lighting this because my whole house is going to smell like a bakery. It smells so good. And the other scent that I got was Caramel Apple. And this scent kind of has a, a cinnamony smell to it. So I think this will be a great candle for, um, you know, probably around fall, like September, October-ish. You know, when you're kind of working your way into Thanksgiving, somewhere around that time. So that's probably when I'll burn this. And uh, the candles are two for 20. So, yeah. So I got all of that stuff for... I think $30 because I had a coupon for $10 off of a $40 purchase. So I got a ton for the price that I paid. And the next thing I'm going to show you all, I went to Rite Aid um, because that's where my newest nail polish brand is. And I picked up a couple of her nail polishes. And if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Julie G. She is a fellow YouTuber and she has her own um, nail polish line that can be found at Rite Aid. And there's some really great high quality nail polishes for only $3.99 a pop. So you can't beat that. It kind of reminds me of Essie nail polish, polishes. I guess like the texture and lastability or longevity. So the two colors I picked up were Cotton Candy and then White Orchid. And I thought these would be really pretty summer and spring colors. So, yeah, I just, I loved them. Um, normally, every so often, I'll stop in Rite Aid and kind of add to my little collection. So, I picked up those two. And I also picked up two really cute nude lipsticks here. Um, they're both by Revlon. 
And the first one I picked up is called Just Enough Buff. And if, as you can see, it's like a really pretty nude. It's really sheer, but it definitely adds a nice color to the lips. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I actually have it on right now. And the other nude lipstick that I picked up is called Blushing Nude. And that's what it looks like. So I think these would be really nice. I'm not quite that adventurous with like lipstick colors yet. So because I'm still a newbie in the makeup game. But I thought both of these colors would be really nice and office friendly, you know, for work. And then it'd be great, you know, for the weekend for a nice neutral look. So that's everything that I got from Rite Aid. And, oh, sorry, my little bag from Target fell. So, um, here's the first, like, hair product, because um, I'm sure you guys were like, okay, this says, like, hair and summer beauty haul, and there are no hair products. Um, I did not get much as far as hair products go, but because I have been using up products and pretty much sticking to the things that work for me, I ran out of everything. I ran out of conditioner and moisturizer like I was on the last drop so when I went to Target I picked up my direct leave-in weightless conditioner by Giovanni this is my staple moisturizer and some of the other things that I got um I got some more elf makeup cleansing wipes I love these these are great to remove your makeup relatively quickly and just kind of give your face or basically it's a great way to remove the makeup for a cheap price because these are only three bucks for I think you get 20 of them so I mean it's not bad um then I picked up I'm not sure what I did with I think I forgot to bring it okay so I picked up this really pretty elf blush and it's called pink passion I took it out of the little packaging but that's what the color looks like it's like a really nice, uh, pretty pink, and I thought that this would be nice for, um, for summer, because I'm a pink girl when it comes to blush, and, like, I mean, it's pretty sheer when you put it on, but it kind of does, I'm not even going to show you that, because it didn't really show up the way I wanted it to, but, um, it gives you, like, a nice little glow to the cheeks, so, and for $3, I just couldn't beat it. So, the next e.l.f. item that I picked up was a powder brush and this is kind of like the flat top foundation brush um which is going to be great for applying my mac black powder that i use to set my foundation so and i used to have one of these and i can't quite remember what happened to it so this is my replacement brush the next thing that i got which i thought these were just so cool for two bucks y'all they were jumbo eyeshadow sticks and I got them in nice neutral colors because yet again this is I'm going for more like office friendly makeup right now so um the first color is called Turkish coffee and it's like a really nice goldeny brown with a tad bit of shimmer to it and the next color is called little miss thing and that's like just a brighter gold so I thought those were two pretty good brownish goldish neutral colors to kind of rock um to the office and then I got a jumbo lip gloss stick and the color is called pink umbrellas so and then the next thing I got was um L'Oreal just released a new line Tiffany D did a blog post about it but it's called color me pink or make me over in pink it's something like that and it's pretty much like a whole line of pink lipsticks and lip glosses and she did a really detailed blog post about it along with the um color swatches and the lip glosses were so pretty and pigmented and i saw one of the two that i actually wanted to get it was i didn't see the collection i know i, I went to one target i went to walgreens i didn't see it anywhere so i finally i just so happened to be i was looking for something else and i found it so i grabbed it and this is the color i haven't opened it yet but it's called rosy demeanor so i thought this would be really pretty to wear by itself or to pair with like a nice nude lipstick or maybe even this jumbo lip gloss stick so we'll see how that works out and the last thing that i got from target was this Milani eyeshadow primer for $5.99. I am almost out of my shadow insurance 
and I paid like 20 something dollars for it from Sephora. I've heard that this is a really great primer and for $5.99 I am willing to give it a chance because I'm all about saving a few bucks. So that's everything I got from Target and I'm a big Target head so I'm not sure if you guys know about this or not but they have something called the Target debit card which is basically like connected to your bank account but anytime you use it at Target you save 15% on your entire purchase and anytime you order anything online from Target you get free shipping so if you guys love Target as much as I do it would definitely be something to consider because not only was everything that I got seriously cheap but then I still saved a couple of bucks because I used my Target card so now let's move on to sorry my stylist purchases these are really simple um I ran completely out of my one and only Argan Oil Restorative Mask and this is my light protein treatment and I use it every week and I only had about this much left so I needed to go ahead and re-up on it. And while I was there, I saw that my Care Minerals Deep Conditioner was on sale this month for $4.99 and I'm about halfway through the jar so I just went ahead and grabbed another one. So those are my other two hair purchases from Sally's. And I only have one thing that I picked up from Walgreens. I went everywhere looking for this. I couldn't find it at either Target. I couldn't find it at Rite Aid because I don't even think Rite Aid sells Milani's line. I tried Walmart, which I don't even know why I did. God bless Walmart's heart. I love Walmart, but like the makeup section at the Walmarts I always go to, it's just, it always looks like a tornado has just hit it and you can't ever find anything. So, um, but anyway. This is the Milani Illuminating Face Powder. And let me show you all what it looks like because I have not actually even opened this yet. But um, basically, you can use it as a highlighter, a bronzer, or as a blush. And what I like about it is it actually has little directions on it on how to use it. And it even recommends the best type of brush to use for it, which is really good for a newbie like me to the makeup game. So, um... I hope to like do an update and let you guys know how I'm liking this and maybe even show you all like my normal day-to-day -day face routine once I kind of figure that out. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That's all I got from Walgreens and I only have one more thing to show you guys. Um, I stopped at Victoria's Secret and all I got was a cute little makeup bag and I could have kicked myself because I went... Um, I think the first day of the sale and they had some of the makeup bags on sale for like 50% off and I was like eh, I couldn't decide if I wanted one I was like well I'll just come back and get it well you know I could not find any that were on sale so I was pretty upset but I have not seen a makeup bag that I like as much as these and that feel as sturdy as these because I have kind of outgrown my current little bitty makeup bag so I got this cute hot pink and it's just it's just cute I like it so that pretty much sums up my summer hair and beauty haul I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video love peace and blessings bye guys